Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to see you. Excellent. For breakfast. Come in for a nice little breakfast. Absolutely. 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 Check your coat. Yep. Here we go. I'd like to welcome you to Chemistry 181X. My colleagues, Dr. Joe Schwartz and Ariel Fenster and myself, David Harp, will be instructing in the course. As you can see, this isn't the chemistry department anymore. We're at the university faculty club that is a place for gathering for administrative staff as well as for support staff as well as, of course, for the faculty. And we sometimes come for breakfast and that's part of uh, uh, one of the perks of being at McGill. One of the features about this course is that we have been teaching it since 1982 to about 15,000 students at McGill. It started at that time, we've expanded it to now four World of Chemistry courses, and it's under the umbrella of the Office for Science and Society, which is organized in, happens to be placed in the chemistry department because we are chemists. And my colleague, uh, Joe Schwartz, is the uh, director of that, and I'd like to have him describe that aspect to you, and then we'll get into aspects of the course. Our office is sort of a unique venture because the university has decided that uh, we have a role outside of our students to go out and speak to the public at large about scientific matters, certainly not trivializing them, but uh, speaking about them in a very comprehensible fashion. And that's what we do in this course. We try to make sure that you can separate sense from nonsense, and uh, we also hope to foster critical thinking about everything that goes into our mouth. Well, there are many uh, topics that we cover in this course. Uh, we start with uh, the nature of uh, food, the different components that we find in food. Then we're going to be dealing with uh, vitamins, minerals. We're going to, of course, talk about uh, the whole issue of uh, weight control, the effect of diet on health in terms of heart disease and the like. And uh, among other topics, we'll uh, finish off uh, with chocolate. We'll finish off with wine, and of course, what goes well with wine, we're going to also be talking about cheese. We hope to uh, give you an analysis of many of the topics that are controversial. And as I mentioned about the Office for Science and Society, it really is the umbrella group that keeps this organized. And Joe receives any number as well as all of us, but mainly in Joe's uh, domain, a lot of information, not only about the, the course materials, but about controversies, and maybe Joe could speak to that point. Well, certainly a there's more. a lot of uh, controversy in food. People are concerned about genetic modification, they're concerned about food additives, concerned about artificial sweeteners, concerned about food in general. I mean, we spend so much time talking about food, right? And we spend a lot of time eating food, and then we spend time talking about what we've eaten, and then we go on to talk about what we should have eaten. And by that time, it's time to start planning the next meal. That's true. Right? That's so true. why don't we order? Ah, our chef is here. Bonjour. 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 Bonjour, Bonjour. 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 monsieur. Ça va bien? Ça va bien, vous -même. So we will like the, as we call it, the Canadian breakfast. Uh, yeah. Bacon well done, uh, potatoes, and your famous scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. eggs. Perfect. That will be excellent. And Joe wants something different. I'm going to have different. something different. I'm going to have you cook up some oat bran okay. and serve it with some uh, berries. Blueberries, strawberries if you have, and any other fruit that you might have. I'm going to have the healthy stuff and no problem. leave the rest of these guys. And you? I think the, uh, the scrambled egg, the scrambled uh, les oeufs brouillés, mais je pense qu'on veut quelque chose de spécial avec. C'est certain de apporter de la moutarde de Dijon. Yeah. Dijon, de ma Dijon. Dijon mustard. Can you, can pour moi aussi, Dijon de moutarde. Non, <laughs> non, moutarde de Dijon. De moutarde Dijon. de Dijon. <laughs> Parfait. Très bien. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Let's try this. Uh, the number Num one question that people have yeah. about food is, uh, yeah. is artificial sweeteners. And, and uh, uh, of course, there's a lot, lot of false information on the internet uh, about it and fear mongering. Uh, I noticed uh, the European Food Safety Agency just came out with yeah. a full report on aspartame. People have reactions to orange juice. Some people have reactions to kiwi. It happens. That looks you. just a little bit too healthy. <laughs> wow. I got to admit. Ah, uh, but this is a double. Ah, uh, my Dijon. Thank you. Oh, perfect. So you know what we got here? That's the bran of the oat. That's the outer covering. And the, the beauty of that is that it lowers cholesterol. But 
I'm even going to dress it up a little bit with uh, chia seeds. Chia seeds? This chia is, seeds. This is I'm not going to grow anything. It's the ho holiday yeah. season. These, it's, it's, oh, oh, this is a little disturbing. <laughs> but you know what that it's adds? It's like pepper. That adds a lot of omega-3 fats. You think and, that's yeah, oh yeah, Well, even people who don't know much about omega-3 fats have heard enough that it's, it's kind of good for you. Bananas these days. for a little potassium in there. And the blueberries will give us a load of... Uh, anthocyanins, which are antioxidants, and uh, throw in uh, some more antioxidants with the strawberries. Save, save me a strawberry. Yeah, right. Actually, I've got rest. a little over here, so yeah. this, this well, is sufficient. It's only the dose that matters, right? The that's, dose, that's the not dose enough. makes that's the poison. Not the, the, okay. This is not the poison. And the cure. And, and the, the cure. cure, exactly. Oh, it was a really good breakfast and kind of whetted my appetite for talking even more about food. Whetted my appetite for lunch. Well. I hope uh, you will enjoy this uh, course as much as we enjoyed it preparing and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you.